Welcome to Kojima's McLean Lake Site Tour. At McLean, we'll be 700 kilometers north of Saskatoon and only 200 kilometers south of the Northwest Territories. Points North Landing is only 15 kilometers from the McLean Lake Site, by air that is, but we'll have to wind along by bus for about 45 minutes to get to the site. Most people don't know what to expect when they get here, unless they're involved in mining, so we'll give you a bit of a preview to get you started. It takes a very long time from the discovery of a deposit until production of yellow cake can begin. In this case, about 20 years. First came tons of paperwork, consultation and preparation. The McLean ore body was discovered in 1979. In 1982, the Jeb ore body was discovered. Then from 1985 to 1990, a cluster of deposits named Sioux A, B and C were discovered. The environmental impact assessment of the McLean Lake project began in 1991. Two of the things you'll see on site are the gigantic holes in the ground. We call these the Jeb Tailings Management Facility and the Sioux Mine. To get an idea of their size, look at that tiny truck in this view. That truck can haul up to 100 tons of ore per load. We finally begin digging the Jeb Open Pit Mine in 1995. Two years later, we had removed and stockpiled all of the ore. Then we converted the mine Jeb Pit into a tailings management facility. We now use the pit to store wastes from the mill. Sioux A, B and C are also open pit mines. We began mining Sioux C in 1997. Sioux C is mined in two parts. C1 was depleted in about three months. Its ore will take up about two years to process. Ore from C2 will feed the mill for several years. Once mining starts though, it goes around the clock 365 days a year. The Sioux mines will supply about 30 million pounds of ore at a grade of about 2.5%. The waste rock from Sioux A and B will be deposited in the Sioux C pit. Eventually the Sioux C pit will become a lake. Let's take a closer look at what happens to all this ore. The ore is milled at the Jeb, the first new North American mill licensed in 15 years. The Jeb mill was constructed between 1995 and 1998. The mill's unique radiation protection design minimizes worker exposure. For example, plant buildings are grouped according to industrial risks. Areas with gamma radiation are separated and shielded from areas where people are working. The dual-speed, one-pass air ventilation system moves fresh air through clean areas such as control rooms to low and then higher contamination areas in the mill before being vented to the outside. As well, we developed a process that achieves low arsenic concentrations in the tailings, the first of its kind. The mill processes the ore into yellow cake, the main ingredient for nuclear fuel. Here's the recipe for yellow cake. Truck the ore from the mine to a stockpile at the mill. Mix this ore with water and grind it to a fine sand to make slurry. Process the slurry in sealed modules to prevent radiation exposure. Pump the slurry to leach tanks to dissolve the uranium from the ore. Separate the waste solids from the uranium solution. Filter this solution through sand. Process it for purification and concentration. Use an organic solution to extract the uranium. Add ammonium sulfate to strip the uranium from the organic solution. Add ammonia gas to separate the uranium from the purified product solution. Use the dryer to remove excess moisture. And voila! You have yellow cake. Now pack the yellow cake in barrels and ship it to the refinery for processing. There it will become the nuclear fuel that generates electricity worldwide. Left over from the milling process are byproducts we call tailings. Tailings are basically waste metals and chemicals in water. We thicken the tailings and deposit them underwater at the Jeb TMF. This controls contaminant release, radioactive emissions and dust. In the TMF, 
we continuously filter the tailings and treat the water from them until they become increasingly solid. The JEB TMF is a natural surround system. When milling is completed, the JEB TMF will be covered by waste rock and till. The weight of this cover compresses the tailings. What we will end up with is a solid plug that seals in the tailings while sealing out groundwater. This ensures the containment of contaminants and protects outside water sources. Finally, we cover up the Jeb pit with new vegetation. More than 50% of McLean's workforce are northerners. The employees fly to the mine sites from their home communities. They work seven days, then take seven days off. We contract as many goods and services from northern communities as possible. This ensures that impact communities greatly benefit from our presence. McLean is operated and 70% owned by Kojima Resources. Its partners are Denison Mines with 22.5% and OURD with 7.5%. Headquartered in Saskatoon, Kojima Resources operates mining and milling facilities at Clough Lake in northern Saskatchewan. The company is also operator of the Midwest Projects and part owner of the MacArthur River, Cigar Lake and Key Lake Uranium Projects. Of the company's employees at the mine sites, most are from northern communities. Thank you for joining us today and letting us strut our stuff. We hope you enjoy the tour.